Listen, I got an amazing video for y'all today, man. But before we get into the video, I got to tell you about our partners for today's video. Yes, the one and only Mint Mobile. You may already know about Mint Mobile from the funny ads that y'all have seen with the man myth and legend himself, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, Ryan Reynolds, man. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service, man, for as low as $15 a month. And here's the thing best about it, right? You don't sacrifice any coverage, data, or speed, or any of that, man. So you still get access to the same network because they built on the largest 5G network they is, and they're provided to you for only $15. And the way they're able to do that is because they cut the cause of having a retail store or having any salespeople, they're selling it directly to you. Some of you, some of you that are in the business field, you understand it by DTC, which is called direct to consumer. They're selling it direct to you, okay? And that's how they're able to keep the cost down. All you got to do is click the link in the description right now, man. Click the link in the description and sign up for the services. Me, myself, have already switched over, man, with the free trial that they sent me. And let me tell you something, man. I'm not missing anything. I'm still able to do my YouTube. I'm able to watch my videos without skipping a beat. There's no buffering or any of that. I haven't lost any coverage, man. Listen, I am still using the same network service that I had, man, but I'm paying less right now. All you got to do is click the link in the description right now and follow the steps, man. You're going to get an eSIM card that's digital for your phone. Now, here's the thing. If it's not compatible for your phone, what they can do is they'll send you out an eSIM for your actual phone, okay? You're not missing anything, man. This is simple. It takes 15 minutes to have to only pay $15 a month for one of the best wireless services there is, man. You're not going to miss anything. Trust me, I would not tell y'all this if you were going to be skipping out. I'm not going to have y'all out here, your calls dropping and your text messages ain't coming through. None of that. Click the link in the description right now, man. Normally, the price is $30, man, but if you use the link in the description, it's going to be $15 for you. And to keep it above, $30 ain't even bad based upon how that phone bill be coming in. It'd be high, okay? You know what I'm saying? So even if it was still $30, you still good. But if you click the link in the description, you're only going to have to pay $15. Very easy. They got excellent customer service. And like I said, I have switched over myself. I was able to use the digital eSIM. But if you cannot use the digital eSIM, they will mail one out to you. So click the link in the description right now. Tap in with Mint Mobile, man. And listen, them reaching out, man, helps this channel, man. So I need y'all to do the same and reach out to them. Get it set up. Drop in the comment section. Any of you may have already switched over. Let the people know, man. Help me. Let the people know, man. Mint Mobile is the way to go. Please, right now, go and hit the link in the description. And switch over to Mint Mobile. It'll be the best thing you've done in a long time. You can have that. They ain't even what I'm mad at. Man, it's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, a.k.a. Pass the Flight. Shoot Flight. Flex Luger. Call me what you want, but can't call your boy broke. They should be rich in Christ, man. Back with another video as usual. If you have already make sure you subscribe to the channel. Say we rock with the flight crew. You don't have fun. Before we get started, I want to send a message out. I told y'all I'm coming for the early review crown. So make sure you follow me on IG, Flight Academy, underscore kicks with a Z. Good YouTube, it is your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Past the Flight, Shook Flight, Ghost Candy Man. All them great names, call me what you want. Can't call me broke, so I'm rich in Christ, man. Back with another video for y'all today, man. And I know, I know, man. Y'all, y'all about to fire off in this comment section. People been asking me, Flight, where you at, bro? Where you been? What's going on, man? Listen, but before we get into all that, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all follow me on IG, Flight Academy. Let's go kicks with a Z. You can follow me on Thread. I'm on Thread now. You can follow me on Twitter. Follow me wherever. Follow my story pages in the bio link. Follow me there, man. Let's get straight into this video, man. I really want to just really get into this topic. So listen, I know, man, I haven't dropped a video since I did the early review on the Burgundy Files, man. And a lot of people been asking me, like, bro, where you been at? Like, what's going on? Why you ain't been doing videos? Well, to tell you the truth, I ain't been feeling like it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have not been feeling like dropping videos because I feel like things are so much different with sneaker YouTube and to me, it's kind of get boring. Now, no other YouTuber is really going to come out and say this to you like, ah, oh, I ain't going to say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to keep dropping the videos, um, you know what I'm saying, to make sure to keep up with the algorithm, keep the growth of the channel. And I respect the hustle a thousand percent, man, but it just has become oh, a headache, man. It's become stressful, man, because 
with me, I take pride in the content that I drop. Any video that I drop, man, I take pride into it. I do my homework before I do these videos, man. I don't just throw a video out there. People have done it in the past just to get a, get a video up. Say, I've done one for today. I'm not just going to throw anything out there, man. And it's kind of crazy now because it's like, when you look at sneaker YouTube, right? Like, I really want to know for y'all. And this is an honest question. This is a very open and honest video that I want y'all to be like open and honest about okay because i really want to know what is it that y'all look for when it comes to sneaker youtube because if you look at some of the sneaker youtubers right a shoe dropout we all gonna do the early review all of us we all gonna do the early review on it you know what i'm saying um to be honest with you some of us all got the same connect or plug for the early review so we all get our shoes at the same time um if there's certain topics, yeah, we can speak on it and give different perspectives or give a different opinion about things. That makes the video different. But then at that same token, is like, is it really different? Because a lot of us think a lot. Not all of us, but majority of us think a lot. There's been so many talks about the different types of opportunities that's provided for one race of sneaker YouTubers versus the other race of sneaker YouTubers, which we have seen sometimes. Um... But those are things nobody want to talk about. It's like you get to this point and it's like, ah, uh, should we speak on it? Should you not? And I'm not saying that one race gets more than the other, but I'm saying there's certain opportunities that's presented to certain YouTubers that's not presented to others. And we've seen it. There's opportunity that was presented to me that I felt like should have been presented to other people too. And I'm like, okay. So it's not me speaking from a bitter standpoint because I have benefited well from sneaky YouTube and plenty of opportunities and more opportunities still coming through the door. But it's like, at this point, like, what is it that y'all want from a sneaky YouTuber? When you say, my sneaky YouTuber, this is what I want you to do, right? Because at the end of the day, we're providing a service to y'all. Without our subscribers, we're nothing. Without that subscriber count being high and people tuning in and watching our videos, watching the ad videos all the way through and not skipping it, Bro, we're nothing, bro. We're not making no money without y'all or none of that. And I think I've always kept that posture from the beginning. That's always been my thing. I've always said that. Listen, sneaker YouTube is important, but the subscribers are even more important, man. And for us, man, I feel like when it comes to my channel, I'm not one that's going to promote drama and all that stuff on my channel. So my channel is always going to be stuck directly with sneaker content, right? And I got my podcast now. Now, my podcast has allowed me to kind of branch out and do different things. But I'm actually reworking the camera for my podcast. So I haven't dropped a podcast. And just to let y'all know, my camera, for some reason, when it's recording for a long time, it just blacks out and goes out. And I've done a couple of podcast sessions where I've actually lost footage. I've done some dope podcasts and I've lost footage and I've lost audio. So I'm working on revamping all of the equipment, make sure that we're properly prepared for that. So that's why the podcast hasn't dropped. But everything's there. The microphone is literally right here. Okay? So we're still ready to go at any point, man. But when it comes to sneaky YouTube, like, I really want to know. I want y'all to drop in the comment section right now. Let me know what is it that y'all looking for when it comes to sneaky YouTube. Like, what is it? What do y'all want? Are y'all getting bored with sneaky YouTube? Do y'all want new content? I think one time... A few people told me, like, hey, we like when you did Nike Outlet videos, man. Kind of go outside a little bit more. So I started doing that. Um, let me know what it is, man. Because when I look at even, I watch, I watch Sneaky YouTube. And I'm like, bro, it's like the same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about it. If a shot drop happens, all of us pretty much, well, not everybody don't get the information. Some of us get the information beforehand. But everybody's going to drop a video on it. You know what I'm saying? So it's more about, is it more about who you want to see in front of your camera? If you get the same information, you get the same review. Uh, how many times are y'all going to be willing to watch an early review on the same shoe? You know what I'm saying? From different people. I know me, I'm always a student of the game, so I like to hear people with different perspective on why they like a shoe. This person may not like it. 9014s came out. I'm a huge Retro 14 fan, so a lot of people couldn't wait to see my thoughts and reaction on the Retro 14s. Um, so, you know, those are things that you look at, but I really want to know from y'all what is it that y'all look for when it comes to sneaker YouTube. What is it that keeps y'all invested into sneaker YouTube? And what do y'all want to see now? I'm ready to take things to a different level. So I want to ask y'all because I feel like I'm getting tired of seeing the same thing. 
So I know some of y'all may be getting tired of seeing the same thing. So let me know in the comment section right now. I will be reading the comments, all right? So let me know what y'all want to see. What is it? What's the next step? Where do y'all want to see Sneaker YouTube go to next, man? And we're going to start implementing this thing. It's time to crank this thing up, man. Let's have some fun with it, man. So let me know, man, and we're going to get it started, man. But listen, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you locked in. Drop those comments down below. I want to hear from y'all. I want to know how y'all feel. Let me know so we can start getting this thing started. And it's not just me that feels like this. Trust me. I've spoken to, how do I put this, several uh, YouTubers. And a lot of people feel the same way, man. So I think even Tony D like even wrote something on Twitter where he was kind of alluding to the same thing. So let me know what y'all think, man. I'm going to be checking for it. But until next time, you know how we rocking, man. Take flight with the flyers. If you ain't find me, it's a fly right. Hustle, motivate, long live nip, man. Yeah.